Sahelanthropus chidensis was discovered in 2001 by the French Chad Paleoanthropology Mission, or MPFT, and it was found in northern Chad. Specifically, it was found in the Jirab Desert in the Toros Manala fossiliferous area. Over 300 fossil vertebrates have been found in the area, including the early hominids. Six fragments of Sahelanthropus, which is generally called Tumai, or hope of life in the local language, were found. A nearly complete cranium, two lower jaw fragments, and three teeth. Now, over 700 vertebrate fossils have been recovered from the site, and these include carnivores, elephants, giraffes, wild boar, some primitive primates, and even a three-toed horse. Some 42 species have been identified at the site. Now, these non-hominid fossil finds are important as they allow the otherwise undateable site to be dated. Now, the site doesn't have any material that would work for radiometric techniques, so the MPFT used faunal analysis. Faunal analysis involves comparing fossils from an undateable site to fossils at a site that has been dated. This is what we call a relative dating technique, as the fossil remains from the site are not specifically dated. The basic assumption of this dating method is that like individuals existed at the same time, and that's why we have a date range for Tumai of 6 to 7 million years, although the researchers believe the date is closer to 7 million. So what does Tumai look like? The MPFT team believes that Tumai was about the size of a modern chimp, but was not a chimp and they claim that it was a bipedal hominid. And this is based solely on cranial char characteristics, such as a weak prognathism, which as I'm sure you remember is the protrusion of the lower face, a thick, continuous supraorbital torus, a long, narrow brain case, smallish upper canines, pretty thick enamel on the cheek, te cheek teeth, somewhere between what we expect on a pan and an australopithecus, and it lacks a canine diastema. Now there is some debate as to whether Tumai is a hominid or an ape living at the time of divergence and until some postcranial remains are found the debate's going to continue. So that's our overview of Sahelanthropus chedensis. Here's an artist's reconstruction and an idea of where it falls on the timeline of human evolution.